you know, it's just such a treat to be here for any reason, but especially because uh, I got to see Avenue Q this evening. Um, you know, it was just a really magical night. This is the fourth one I've seen. Um, I've seen it in Sweden and Finland and in uh, Brazil and Rio. And French is the one that I'm the closest to understanding. So it was nice to finally for me tonight to see it uh, in a way that, that I was able to pick out. Like, okay, I, you know, that's, that, that's what they're saying. Those are the words they're using. My French is very poor, but I speak, I, if, I, if I have a few drinks, I can speak conversational French. Um, so for me, it was, I, it was great because I knew for the most part what they were saying the entire time um, and was able to pick out words. So it was, it was a, a great experience to um, see it in another language. And then uh, there were a couple local jokes uh, that I think they added that got huge responses. And I, that, was really, that was really fun. Thank you. Hang on, I have a drink coming from the sky. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> I love Paris. Champagne comes from the ceiling. There was one very, very dirty joke that I thought was hilarious that had never occurred to me before. A physical joke. Which joke? Do, can I say? How, yeah. how is your we are family French. vlog? Okay, it's when, it's when Trekkie Monster is going off. He's so aroused by Lucy that he's running off stage to masturbate. And uh, uh, the actual playing Trekkie went... And then ran off stage. <laughs> never occurred to me before. And, that's the kind of art I like to make, you know. <laughs> you are always surprised. In yes. Fact. Yeah. So there, were, it was. Uh, yeah, it was just. It was a real hoot. Uh, American word, like a real uh, joy to to watch what they did with the material. <laughs> And so the treat for me, it's like uh, having a child that you send to university, and then it goes out into the world, and then I can come see the show and see a brand new take on it, uh, see it through new eyes, through fresh eyes. So I don't want to give them my ideas of what it is, because I've done it before. Like it, the, the real pleasure of it is that I can see it reinterpreted uh, in different ways. And there were things I saw tonight that had never occurred to me before. And they, they, they did such a beautiful job. I've found It's a dream to watch your, your musical in Paris. Of course, Paris is my favorite city. It's the most, every time I walk through here, it's like, oh, right. It's everything about it is really, really, Every shop window, everything is so immaculate and curated and uh, thought out. You know, it's it's stunning here because it's so so unlike New York. And then I go back to New York and it's just like a big uh, garbage dump <laughs> compared to Paris. I hate it though. It is. I mean, and I love New York. I you know I've, I've lived there for 18 years, but uh, yeah, there's no place like Paris in the world. No place like it. Un petit peu tard pour moi, je viens pas me coucher, mais en tout cas je suis contente que ça vous ait plu. On vit sur la rue, on vit sur la rue, bienvenue sur la rue.